Friday, the best of the day, the day of Imam Zaman Ajalallahu. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. The day of believers, the day of dua, the day of worship, the day of congregation, the day of closeness towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the day of closeness towards Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower all of his bounties upon us and all other believers around the globe. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the arrival of our 12th Imam as soon as possible. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfill your desires, your du'as and remove all calamities. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you long lives. Coming towards the topic, Qulu wa shrabu wa la tusrifu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how kind he is when we were unable to talk, when we were unable to ask. Before our birth, he arranged something, he managed something that was necessary for our life. He was kind, he is kind, he will be kind towards us. But as he is kind, likewise, he has provided us those parents who are reflection of his characters, who are reflection of his virtues. So as Allah is kind likewise, our parents are kind or they were kind and always they were well wishers for us and whatever the best possible was for them, they provided us. But as our Creator has granted us this globe, this planet Earth, and anything that is necessary for us, He has already provided us. He just said, all oh, the people, you have to worship to your Lord, and at the same time, and always you have to favor your parents because they were reflection of virtues of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doing favors toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually that is worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we are making happy to any believer especially the parents who are our Muslim so automatically Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is writing good deeds in our account book. Why? Because they were acting and they were working on the behalf of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They nourished us. They were supporter in our growth. 
and they were supported in our education, in our health, in our existence. And today if we are something that is the first on first step that is due to our parents, but actually uh, our parents, their existence was due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah who is kind, our Creator who is kind, who supported us with our parents, who supported us with this globe, with this planet earth and whatever is on the earth, that is everything is for our support, that is on our custody. But at the same time he said, you are here for a while, you are not here forever. Your needs on this planet are not the needs forever. Today you need something, tomorrow you will not need that thing. But as this is a particular environment, this is a particular phase for the human being. So that's why anything that has been provided on this planet that is not only for us, that's why Allah said, Kulu washrabu wa la tusrifu, whatever is necessary for your life, for your soul, for your existence, you can use according to the need. But if you will go beyond the need, that will damage you. On first step, that will damage your health. On second, or the, even the better than that, the, the more the priority goes towards the soul. So when we are doing israf, that is also damaging our soul as well. Actually, if we have some iman, so whenever we are doing israf, so that is damaging our iman as well. So when we are eating most of the diseases, if you, you go for etiology of the diseases, so even those diseases which are inherited diseases, still usually most of the diseases are coming from our foods, our drinks. Maybe in our older generation or maybe due to our negligence, majority of the diseases are due to our food or our drinks. If we were very conscious what to eat and what to drink, maybe we are not having many diseases. And if some diseases are inherent in our inheritance, again, uh, when those diseases were started, their, their beginning was also maybe related with the foods. So as a whole, we need to have change. We need to control ourselves, our food, our drinks. We need to control and have an eye on the food and drinks of our children so that we are their coach, we are their trainer, whatever the training we are giving to them, so whatever they will learn, they will transfer to the next generation. So as a whole, we need to stop what we are going to waste. But when we are eating something and we are drinking something after a few years, because extra eating or extra drinking or not eating or not drinking according to the need, when that is damaging our body, that is creating different diseases. So that was one kind of wastage, wasted with food and drink. But when we are sick, then we are wasting the time. Because those people who are sick, they are not active, they are not working properly, they are wasting their time. They are wasting the resources of the nation. At the same time, when we are sick, we are using a lot of medicine. And again, either we are buying or the government is supporting, still we are wasting <coughs> our money or the medicine that should be for someone else. We are using those medicines, we are using that budget on our diseases, so still we are wasting something. I am not saying uh, if someone is sick, so he should stop taking medicine. Why? Because he is wasting. Now some, someone who is sick, so that is necessary to carry on his life. Because our life that is amana, so we need to carry on our life. But at the same time, if we were doing some precautionary measures, 
before time, then maybe today what we are facing, we were not facing all these problems what we are having today. So some problems we individual we are facing, but other problems as community we are facing, like diabetes. So our Asian community, the majority of us, we are having this disease, or having a, a heart attack, or the strokes, or these things. So it, it goes back on our lifestyle, on our food style, what we are eating, what uh, we should not eat, we had used it. So due to those things, so as a whole we community, we are suffering with issues, with, we are suffering with different problems. So individual problems and the community problem and sometimes maybe some generations or some nations or sometimes some disease or some problem are related with a particular geographical area because of the soil, because of the water, because of the environment of that particular area. So most of the diseases are related with our habits, our foods, our drinks and our geographical position. So as a whole knowledge that is a blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, favor of Allah for us, we need to improve our knowledge. And just having knowledge is not enough, we need to apply this knowledge on us. So as a whole whatever we are eating or drinking, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided us kidneys and kidneys are working on our behalf like slaves and they are filtering anything that is poisonous, anything that is toxic, so they are excreting out of our body. So we should be thankful to Allah and we should be thankful to our kidneys as well, we should be thankful to nephron as well who are working on our behalf. We are never thinking how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided us everything to serve us. When Allah has given a lot of things, millions of things to serve us, did we think oh, at least I should serve to my Lord who has provided me everything without any minnat, without any ihsan, without asking me, without my demand. When He is giving so as a thankful person and slave, is there any duty of me? I should do something for him. I should send some kind of gift towards him. When he is making me happy, why not I should make him happy? Salawat. So due to different reasons, when people are facing kidney infection or kidney failure, so last week we discussed one of the options uh, to carry on life, that is the dialysis. So people, one of the options they can use to carry on their life, they can use dialysis and there are different kinds of different types of dialysis. The other option and that is a not easy option, that is available but usually not available uh, when the people they need and this is a difficult option, but still, as the science is progressing, people are working. So we should be thankful to all those people who done research, who done a lot of work, and today we are able to use those kidneys which we call transplantation. So transplantation, when the kidneys of a person are failed or not working properly, then one of the option to carry on life, to carry on the, that function of kidney, that is kidney transplantation. But for transplantation of kidney, the sick person, the patient, he needs or she needs the kidney. And usually that is not available. So there are two resources. One resource to get the kidney, that is the living resource. For example, some of the relatives, maybe sister, brother, parents, spouse, so sometimes when their kidney match, so they can donate one of their kidney because we can carry on our life on one kidney. If that is working properly, there is no harm, there are no problem. Person can carry on the life on one kidney as well and other kidney he or she is donating to beloved one. This is the one option. The other option is 
Uh, people, they have their will. So when they are sick or due to accidents, whenever they are dying, so if they have uh, written their will that after the death, so their kidneys should be donated to someone. That is the other option. So these are two options. So that's why usually donating our organ, it is not easy thing. It needs a willpower. It needs some kind of sacrifice. So then people are ready to, even uh, donating blood, there is no harm at all. It is good for the health. After every few months, we have to donate the blood. This is good for our own health as well. But at the same time, we are saving the lives of people as well. So likewise, when actually saving the life of a person is equal to saving life of all mankind. So when a person is donating one of his organ to someone and is saving the life of a person, it means he has saved all mankind. So this is great job. So this is something we have to do and we have to promote this culture. But as a whole, anyone who has a problem with kidneys and kidneys are failed, so one of the options is uh, kidneys uh, should be transplanted. So this transplantation, uh, usually the doctors, they try the old kidney, the damaged kidney should be at their own place. So the extra kidneys, uh, should be transplanted uh, on the lower right or left side of abdomen and uh, that is when the original kidneys are working so there is a renal artery and renal vein one vein and one artery so the vein is uh, the used blood or the oxy uh, uh, venous blood that blood that has less oxygen and more carbon dioxide and that carbon dioxide is harmful for our body. So vein that is using and taking the venous blood and uh, taking into the heart and then ultimately goes into the lung and the filtration happens. So renal vein and renal artery, the both are important. So the transplanted kidney or the kidney that has been donated so the surgeons will connect the vein with the vein of the body and artery with the artery of the body and then a ureter that is another tube that is also connected with the bladder of the person so in this way this donated kidney the extra kidney so when that is connected with the artery and vein of the sick person and then also the ureter with the urinary bladder, the same function of the kidney already. The healthy kidney were doing that was the filtration. So this extra kidney uh, that start the normal job. Normal. But uh, sometime they are, alhamdulillah now science has progress and continuous mm -hmm. work and research. So in the beginning, in the initial years there was a maximum a percentage of rejection because this is the foreign body when it, another kidney is transplanted into the body so our immune system this is again another fear inshallah we will talk about our immune system immune system is the defense of the body and anything that is coming from the outside so that system recognized as the foreign body or as the enemy and try to throw away try to reject so like that uh, this is the foreign body so our immune system tried to reject but with the help of medicine so that rejection process is controlled and alhamdulillah nowadays usually the transplantation are successful so this is again uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why he gave two kidneys to the people so maybe due to this reason so if we can help the people first of all we should try, as I told you, if we drink plenty of water, so then that stage will not come, our kidney should get failed. But if kidneys are having any kind of infection or stone, at that time we should try to take care and proper treatment. And we should, another thing, the two other important factors, that one is the hypertension. When usually the people are, they are having high blood pressure, 
and the other problem that is the diabetes, these two problems also heavily damage our kidneys. So those people who are having these two, two problems, they should be very, very careful and they should drink plenty of water so that on first stage their kidneys should work normally and properly. But if there is some failure, so there are two options, one is dialysis, other is a transplantation. So this is again uh, with the help of people, with the help of donor, or with the help of later to, latest research and the latest technology, Alhamdulillah, today we are on a, at a stage where we can save the lives of the people. So those people who are really saving the life of people, either they are donating or those surgeons who are helping the people to carry on their normal life, really they are doing a great favor. The best of the favor someone is doing to us, we should always try to do the favor and we should always be thankful to the people who are doing favor to us and especially it, no one can do any kind of favor to us until the support of Allah and Muhammad wa Muhammad. Oh, so we have to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Muhammad wa Muhammad, especially the Imam of our time who is supporting us, who is doing for us. And inshallah he will carry on his sport uh, always uh, for us. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal as inna l-insan ala fi khus illa al-lazina amanu wa amila al-salihat. وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ اللَّهُمَّ صَلِّ عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَآلِ مُحَمَّدٍ اللَّهُمَّ صَلِّ عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَآلِ مُحَمَّدٍ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ اللهم لك الحمد ربي السماوات والأرض ذا الجلال والإكرام رب الأرباب وإله كل مولوه وخالق كل مخلوق ووارث كل شيء ليس كمثله شيء وهو بكل شيء محيط أنت الله لا إله إلا أنت الأحد المتوحد الفرد المتفرد وأنت الله لا إله إلا أنت الكريم المتكرم العظيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين أبي القاسم محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى علي بن أبي طالب أمير المؤمنين عليه السلام اللهم صل على محمد وعلى فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى الحسن والحسين سيدة الشباب أحلى الجنة اللهم صل على محمد وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى محمد بن علي وعلى جعفر بن محمد وعلى موسى بن جعفر وعلى علي بن موسى وعلى محمد بن علي وعلى علي بن محمد وعلى حسن بن علي وعلى الخلف القائم المنتظر المحضي اللهم عجم الظهور إنهم يرونه بعيدا ونراه قريبا برحمتك يا رحمة الرحمين اللهم افتال أبواب توبتك ورحمتك ورزقك الواسع إني إليك من الراغبين واتمم لي عنامك إنك خير المنعمين اللهم اجعل بقية عمري في أداء فرز الجمعات والحج والعمرة ابتغاء وجهك يا رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وعلى الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين اللهم صل على محمد وصيكم بتقوى الله ونظم عمركم This beautiful advice of first Imam for everyone Imam Alayhi Salaam who knew the psychology of people who was always supportive towards the mankind, who was the symbol of justice, who was symbol of piety, who was symbol of light and guidance. That Imam 
has given us this beautiful and short version and the slogan of the life وَسِيكُمْ بِالتَّقْوَ اللَّهِ وَنَذْمِ عَمْرِكُمْ But the people organize yourself, your time, your resources, your skills and after organizing everything keep everything at the service of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is taqwa our intention, our thought, everything should be for Allah then we are successful but if we never think about Allah we never remember Him, we never call Him we never do anything for Him we never send anything to Him that is not damaging to Him He is not going to lose anything because He is independent, He is Samad He is not dependent on us He does not need anything from us Actually, these are us who are losers. These are us who are not getting anything, are going towards failure. So if we need success in our lives, we need to move around the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, around the golden principles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if we think we work, we plan for Him, so definitely He will never leave us alone. He will be there always. He will give us success here and hereafter. The majority of our life, the rest of our life, that is the actual life. So since the beginning of this world and mankind, millions of years have been passed, the people who died still they are waiting. Our lifespan in this phase is just like 60, 70, 80 or 100 years maximum. But those thousands and thousands of years ago they died and still they are waiting. Maybe most of them they are suffering. They are being tortured. And the actual life will start after the day of judgment. That life will be infinite life. Those who will go in paradise will enjoy forever. Those who will be in hellfire will face the torture. But these years are very important for us. This time, the few years, the few weeks, the few months of our life which have been left yet and that is in our hand. That's why Imam said, So this time, honestly try to respect this time. Honestly try to use this time. Honestly try to get maximum benefit to manage yourself, to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This beautiful hadith of our Prophet Muhammad Allah 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 As I told Allah, His favors, our parents, their favors, their ihsan, and then those who are donors, those who are helping the mankind and favoring them always. So according to a beautiful hadith of Prophet, He said, Ta'amu you know how the people are changing the world. Not only the person himself is beneficial, but anything he is looking at, anything he is touching, anything he is saying, all of his words, his thoughts, his action, anything that is related with him or her, that is providing benefit to the people. So one of the virtues of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is generosity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is jawad. Aymat Allah musalam and our ninth imam, his famous title is Imam Jawad alayhi salam.
to the other name of Jawad al sakhi the generous person. Generous person himself, he is a reflection of a virtue of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Muhammad wa ali Muhammad alayhi wa salam. But not only he is important, he is the most powerful person. But Prophet said, the Amo Sakhi Dalaun. Even the person who is generous, whenever he is giving any candy to any person, <clears throat> any chocolate to any person, a food to any person, drink to any person, that thing will give will be remedy for the diseases of that person. That will become a medicine. How your good virtues are helpful and supporting the people and serving the people. <laughs> Never think if you are doing something good, that is useless. That is in vain. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is respecting all of your good things and saving. And He is waiting as I am your Lord, I am helpful and beneficial for everyone. I am waiting how much you can help the others. I want to see my virtues and reflection of my virtues in you. And anyone who try to be sakhi and generous like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know Allah is giving without demand, without asking, without request. In Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad, they were not waiting some beggar should knock their door. Most of the time, <coughs> At night they were going and visiting different people and different houses and providing them their needs. And when Imam Muhammad Bakr <laughs> <laughs> Salam, he was giving wash, he was washing the body of Imam Zainul Abedin <laughs> 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 On his body, there were some signs so the, what, of the wounds and the injuries when he was in prison. But the, there were other signs when he was picking up the bags, heavy bags, on his shoulder, on his back, and going and knocking the doors of needy people and helping them. So ta'amu, sakhi davaun, anyone who is generous, his food is a remedy of the diseases of people. But the amo da'an and anyone who is stingy person, who is bakil, his food is pain, disease for our people. So always be generous person. Anything you have. Time you have, skill you have, knowledge you have, taqwa you have, the wealth you have, anything you have. And Allah is generous. Always try to find out you have a lot of good things to share with mankind. So anything we have, we try to share with mankind. And try to be generous, try to be sakhi. So that we should not spread the infections. We should not spread the diseases among the mankind. We should be someone who is spreading the health, who is giving the lives to the people. So, in other hadith, Prophet said, "Inna Allah Taala Jamilun, Inna Allah Taala Jamilun, Yuhibbu Jamal, Sakhiyun Yuhibbu Sakha, Nazifun Yuhibbu Nazafa." Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said Allah himself is beautiful. Allah himself is excellent, beautiful and he likes you should also try to look beautiful. <coughs> Always look your face, look your hairs, look your dress. Whenever you are coming outside of your house and going to the people, try to look beautiful. And that should not make us arrogant, because this is something Allah likes. Second thing, we have to do everything for Allah, not to attract the sick people. You know, sometimes we are having new dress, 
we are trying to look someone good. Why? To attract the someone who is looking for sins. Our beauty, our dress, our cleanliness, our generosity should not to attract the sins or the sick people. Our beauty and our dress and our cleanliness and generosity, everything should be for Allah. If we are trying to look good, why? Because my Allah has commanded me. If I am spending something for the needy people because my Allah likes this. If I am trying to be clean and maintenance of cleaning, so that is because Allah likes. So Allah Himself is Jamil and He likes Jamal. Allah Himself is Sakhi and He likes the Sakhi people. Allah Himself is clean and Nadif and He likes someone who respects and likes the cleanness. So this is something. The virtues of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the virtues of Quran, the virtues of Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad alayhi wa salam, we need to have in ourselves, we need to change this community into a healthy community. And we need to share something, we need to spread something positive, the beauty, the generosity, the cleanliness. And we need to control the sins, we need to control the filthy things, we need to control the infected things. And inshallah, those who are among 18 to 24 years old and they are seeking job, uh, Working Borough Council has uh, started the Youth Employment Scheme. So this is six-month training course, but uh, they will pay six pounds per hour, and the work will be for 20, uh, 25 hours per week. And after that, maybe you will be permanent in council, or maybe you will find some better job somewhere else. But this is good opportunity for all those who are between 18 to 24 years old. They should go to the job center, get the application, fill that up, and closing date is 6th of June. So I request all the girls and the youth who are here in our community, maybe you can help the other people as well. Uh, this is golden opportunity, please. Uh, go and get the application from job center, fill that off and try to get this job. Plus, <coughs> someone who is not having mu'ash, not having job, that is harmful for his iman as well. We need to improve our job, we need to improve our skills, we need to improve our income. But at the same time, we should not be greedy for ourselves. We need to have a lot of things. To share with the mankind. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna a'tayna kal khawsa. Fasfalli li rabbika wanha. Inna shani'aka huwa Allah abadah. Allah.